A group of passionate filmmakers are on a mission to change the way African audiences see wildlife. They're creating content that's tailored for the continent and helping young people learn more about the conservation of endangered species. CDTN's Inok Sikolia reports. Chimpanzees were considered straight vegetarians, but it has now been proven that they are one of nature's cunning killers. Davis Akiki, a Ugandan wildlife filmmaker, recently captured a chimpanzee eating a blue daika deep in Kibale National Park in Uganda. People of Africans are now involved in filming. Uh, uh, in the past, when I was still young, I, w I could see the documentaries. Most of them, they are made uh, by whites. He says Africa's wildlife is a treasure trove of stories waiting to be told. Through short films, there is the way how there is a smooth connection between people of Africa and the wildlife. Yeah? And because of that bond, because of that love, people have now picked interest in these wild animals. I've just arrived in Olpejeda Conservancy. Dr. Paula Kahumbu, a Kenyan elephant scientist, conservationist, and now a filmmaker, shares these motivations. There's, a, there's an enormous amount of interest and there's a lot of production going on. But the, we're, but the industry still lacks finance. Mm -hmm. We need to figure out how to finance African filmmakers because filming in the wild is not cheap. You have to have special vehicles, special cameras, special lenses. You need to take care of getting to very wild, sometimes dangerous places. But we have so much knowledge, so much inside information. So the stories that we can tell are stories that nobody else has ever been able to tell. Dr. Kahumbu's work has aired on National Geographic and Disney. We're looking for Pombo. But one of her projects has been airing on a local Kenyan TV station. Life is a lion. Wildlife Warriors, a show about the men and women and communities involved in the conservation of African wildlife species. Kahumbu and other African filmmakers say making films specifically for African audiences can aid conservation efforts and help ensure that some of Africa's endangered species are preserved. Well, thousands of wildlife documentaries have been made in Africa about our elephants, our rhinos, the wildebeest migration and so on. But those films have been made for a Western audience, for the global north. They've been made in languages which are prevalent in those places. And they've been made for particular channels, channels which actually are not available here in the continent. And that's partly why those content are not seen in the continent. One of our main target audience, to be honest, started to kids. I should not say kids. I should say youth and, and young age. So let's say from age of seven to 35, Africans. So those are our main, main target because that's the way people make decisions and they're about to make decisions and they're about to make choices of what they're going to do in their life. So we, when we create these stories, when we do this story, we have these people in mind. So this is the generation that we want to change because we believe in the next five years, 10 years, these are people gonna get in power, they're gonna make decisions. So even if we cannot solve the problems immediately right now, but if we make stories that are, can actually impact this age range at this point of time, then we are sure our future is secured. The filmmakers say it's not just about filming animals, it's about capturing their essence, their struggles, their triumphs, and the delicate balance of life and how they relate with African communities. And they believe it's time for more storytellers from the continent to join the bandwagon. So we need to showcase ourselves. Anoxicolia, CGTN.